Right. Then we have our next question. Okay. So we have a triangle, three, four, five triangle. All right. Okay. So three, four, five triangle, it just means a right triangle with a side length of three, four, and five. And this is a special triangle. And uh, with the size length having a ratio of three and four and five, and it will always be a right triangle. And this is called the Pythagorean, uh, Pythagorean triple. So let's write that down. Pi Pythagorean. And uh, yeah, so to prove this, we must use Pythagorean theorem. And Pythagorean theorem states that if the side length of a triangle satisfy the equation a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, then it is a right triangle. All right, so let us try. So we have a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared where a is equal to 3, b is equal to 4, c is equal to 5. So we have 3 squared plus 4 squared, which is 9 plus 16, which gives us 25. And c squared is 5 squared. So 5 times 5 is still going to be 25. So we have our left-hand side is equal to our right-hand side. Therefore, Three, five, three, four, five triangles are the right triangles. Okay, so three, four, five triangles are the right triangle. And generally, triangles with sides three x, four x, and five x are right triangles. And uh, so, let's say we have a. Another example. This is a 300, 400, and 500. And this is still going to be a right triangle following Pythagorean theorem as we just increase each side, multiply 100 times, right? Because 5 times 100 is 500, 3 times 100 is 300, and 4 times 100 is 400. And also, another example can be uh, let's say, so that's 15 and that's 9 and that's 4, uh, no, that's 12. Right. So in this triangle, we know that the hypotenuse 5 becomes to 15, which is times 3, and the long leg 4 becomes to 12, which is still times 3, and 3 becomes to 9, which is still times 3. So it still follows a pattern of 3, 4, and 5. So this is still going to be a right triangle. All right. Okay, so let's leave a comment. Solution is correct. 